This is a closed crossbody oblique pull down. You can use a cable and a D-ring if you have access to one. You can use a loop band where you slide your hand in the loop like this, let it pull on your wrist lightly, and then get some light finger gripping going so you don't pull too hard with the wrist. And if you have access to one of these grips right here, I love these, throw a carabiner on the band like this. This allows your hand to be a hook and really get some good connectivity to the lats without over curling what you're pulling. So for this oblique pull down, we are going to be in an oblique position, but you have a few options. So first of all, it's not gonna be your normal open position at a 45 degree angle. We are actually gonna close the gap so that the down knee now is facing towards the band. That's gonna give me a really good weight on this hip and it's gonna allow me to feel the body being pulled forward on this knee. So start in this normal cross-legged oblique position get nice and heavy on this lead knee, and then make sure that your hand on this side and your foot on this side are almost at a 90 degree angle, and you've got some really good palm contact and your, your elbow is open, and then you've got some good foot contacts on this opposite leg. You wanna be nice and tall. Don't lean back against the tension. You wanna get really heavy in this left hip, and then you wanna stay nice and tall, almost like it's pulling you over the top of this hip. You're gonna get some good tension in this hip as, as well as your shoulder and your arm here, but you wanna make sure that you're not crunching or rolling forward like this. So keep that sternum nice and tall. Once you establish this position, so that you don't fall forward with pressure in your hand and your foot, you're gonna feel a lot of oblique activity. We wanna maintain that throughout. It shouldn't be hard to miss, okay? So once you find this position, we're gonna inhale at the top, and then you're gonna exhale and you're gonna to pull to the open hip, which in this, in this case is my right hip. Inhale. Try not to crunch down to it, but if you keep your foot contacts and your hand contacts, shouldn't be a problem. Depending on what your hip mobility level is, you might be able to do this in kind of a get up or a half get up position where the leg that's facing the band is straight. That's gonna help open up the hip that's on this downside even more. So I'm gonna get really heavy on my left hip here. I'm gonna allow the band to pull me over the top of this, get my sternum nice and tall, same exact thing right here. Inhale at the top and exhale, pull down, slight pause, staying heavy on the left hip. And I am reaching through the down hand and the down leg. I'm reaching that knee away from me to get me even heavier. You're gonna feel a lot of oblique on the pulling side. That's really gonna help connect you with your abs and your lats for even more back activity. It's a great accessory for pull-ups or any other heavy pulling exercise where you might feel like you have some disconnectivity in your lats or when you're pulling something super heavy. That's how it's done, guys. Good luck.